Hey everyone, the Game Builder Garage launch is almost upon us and Nintendo have just released a demo version. This is the first time I will be booting this, we're doing this live, uh, let's take a look. What a cute little intro. Okay, so in the demo it looks like we only have the interactive lessons unlocked. Alright. Wow. Moving the little person. Okay. So I can use less stick to move and B to jump. Hmm. Except I can't use B to jump. It looks like you need some help. Don't be shy, I'm here to help. You can call me Bob. Hey Bob. You were in a spot of bother because you couldn't finish the game, right? You couldn't jump by pressing B, so you couldn't reach the apple. There's a reason for that, you know. You see, the thing is, the game is still under construction. Classic, shipping a game before it's finished, huh? With the way it is now, you could spend your whole life trying, trying and you'd never beat it. Ah, oh, please don't get mad. If we do a deep dive into the game, we'll soon get it finished. Behind the curtain, so to speak. Why don't we do that right now? Okay. So I'm gonna press the plus button. Wow, we're into the uh, the game screen. Oh, if that isn't Bob. Good to see you, darling. You are right. Oh, hey, it's Bob. It's Bob. Boing. Welcome inside the game, Dom. Ah. So you wanted to know about our friends here. I'm just, uh, sorry, I was just enjoying how full of life this screen is, especially compared to the Labo um, creation kit stuff. These beings are called Nodon. Hey, we know all about Nodon here. There's all kinds of different Nodon living inside your Nintendo Switch console. If you call up Nodon onto this here program screen, then connect them together. Then pow! You're actually altering the game's program. Awesome. This place where we use Nodon to do programming has a nifty little name. Sorry, the, the cadence of this character is really throwing me off. The Game Builder Garage. Or Garage. That little fragment of game you played earlier was also programmed in Game Builder Garage. Now then, let's get down to it. We'll use the Game Builder Garage to finish this game. Um, what's with the blank look you're giving me, Dom? No, I'm eager, I'm ready. You're going to be using programming to finish this game. It's not as daunting as it might sound. All we need to do is make it so pressing B lets you jump. Okay, we've seen this plenty of times in the trailers. See the output port on this button node on? Just connect it to the jump port on this person node on. Yo, I'm button node on. I know exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna push the button, like bang, yeah, I got you figured. Hey there, I'm Person Nodon, nice to meet you. You saw the little character on the game screen, right? I'm the one who puts it there and moves it around. Oh, that's interesting, so it's not the person. This Nodon is the one that puts the person there. Alrighty, hold down A and move the pointer with left stick, the way I showed you to make the con this connection. Okay. Sent it to jump. And hey presto, we've made it so pressing B makes the character jump. Now we should be able to clear the game. Alright, let's do it, I'm excited. Hey, there we go. Nice. Oh, perfect. First game complete. You did it, great job. You got it. F you got to finish building a game with a bit of programming. Well then. Why don't we nip back into the program screen? Okay. So, how did you find it? Wasn't it fun learning how to program a game? It was very fun. Actually, I think you might have a real knack for this, Dom. Oh, you're flattering me. How about it? Do you want to program some more games? If you do, then maybe you'd be interested in your new pal Bob's interactive lessons. Oh, I can't wait. Like, just now, you'd go through programming all kinds of games with me as your guide. Oh, like just now. 
And by the end, you'll have what you need to make your own games all by yourself. So how about it? Do you feel like taking on some thrilling interactive lessons? Why not? Brilliant. In that case, have I got an awesome bunch of games for you. Let's take a look. We'll be making seven games in these interactive lessons. In the first lesson, we'll make Tag Showdown, which is just a simple game of tag. Next, we'll use some unique features on Nintendo Switch console in On A Roll. That should be the gyroscope features, I think. Lesson three is the auto-scrolling shoot-em-up game Alien Blaster. In the game for the fourth lesson, we'll run, jump, and punch our way to the goal in Risky Run. The fifth lesson is a game called Mystery Room, in which we'll solve three-dimensional puzzles. Wow. For the sixth game, we'll make a computer-controlled car to race against in the White Knuckle Thrill Racer, so that'll be a bit of AI there, I guess. Non-playable character, or a non-playable car. And last but not least, in Lesson 7, we'll make a 3D action game called Super Person World! By learning to program games, like the ones I just mentioned, you'll learn the skills to make your very own games. Alrighty then, I'll be waiting for you in the first lesson. Be sure to pay a visit. Oh, I definitely will. I've been the ever-knowledgeable Bob. See you later. Bye, Bob. I think we're going to see him pretty soon. Dom? Hang on a sec. My name's Alice. Oh, this is Alice. So, not Bob. He's the excitable one you already met. I look similar, but I'm Alice. How'd you know? How'd you do? Please don't forget. Or call me Bob or anything like that. So, Dom. You know how you got that game just... Uh, got that game to work just now? Be honest, you don't really get what made it work, right? Oh, so Alice is like a... she's a realist. I mean, that's totally fine. You've only got just got started with all this stuff. But you know, if you're going to make your own game, you need to understand what mecha which mechanisms do what. That's true, that's very, very true. That's why I've set up some checkpoints to help you. I'd like you to come to the checkpoint before lesson one. Right then, I'll be waiting. Okay. How do we go visit Alice's checkpoints? Aha! They're unlocking now. Okay, this is checkpoints intro. A mysterious checkpoint appeared. Prepare to enter. Making the person jump. Thanks for stopping by, Dom. Just in case you forgot, I'm Alice. Don't worry, Alice, I didn't forget. And here is a checkpoint. The idea here is to test whether you really know your programming stuff by solving a puzzle. Maybe this is a bit sudden, throwing a puzzle at you and expecting you to solve it, but let's see here. This is Alice's Guide updated. I have something for you that I think will help. Your very own Alice's Guide. This will give you further tips on how to use Nodon to make games. When you select this here, it'll, load it'll open up Alice's Guide list. Why not use it to learn the basics of Game Builder Garage? Okay, let me your ears. I'll give you the basics of Game Builder Garage. The screen you're looking at now is called the game screen. As the name suggests, this is where, uh, where the game you've programmed will play out. Here we have the person object. Try pressing B. Ah, uh, yeah, we can jump. But what exactly made the person jump? Let me take you through it in the Game Builder Garage Basics. Let's take a peek around the back and see the other side of the game. The program screen. Alright, head back into the program screen. Hey peeps! Oh, it's that programmer again. Yo! Hey, I remember you. Dom, right? Oh, I love the button. Looking forward to bashing some buttons with you. <laughs> Excuse me? So. Here we are at the program screen. This is where we'll program our game with the help of our host, Nodon. That's right, when it comes to programming, we're here to help, peeps. Each Nodon has its own special function within a setup. Watching out for when a button gets pressed, we button Nodons have that covered. And as for us person Nodon, I'm the one that puts the person out there on the game screen. Yeah, you told us person. That's right. The person that you saw back there was the person Nodon's doing. 
Oh, that's nice when people acknowledge my work. Yeah. Take note of the position of the person node on the program screen here. The location of the person node on determines the location of the person on the game screen. Okay, so it's uh, a literal representation of the position of the person, uh, the player character. For example, if you were to move me over to the right of the program screen, the person would appear over on the right side of the game screen. Let's try it. Okay, so we're going to reposition him. Oh, I moved! How do you think that looks on the game screen? Now I guess we can press, press plus to see? Oh, they're not going to let us yet. Oh, here we go. Jump the gun slightly. Yeah, there you go. The person has moved over to the right. So take note, the program screen is the place where we position things that appear on the game screen, like objects or characters. Okay, head back to the program screen so I can score you some more. Can't wait to be scrolled. Another thing to know about the program screen is that you can scroll. Uh, you can scroll it to find more space. I'd escape, disabled the scrolling earlier because I thought it might have made things confusing. Okay, now that scrolling is enabled, try left stick to put the pointer outside of the screen. Nice, okay. Oof, that's a lot of screen. There you go. Now you know how to get around the program screen. Try moving right stick up and down while holding Z or uh, ZL or ZR. Ooh, that's to zoom. Okay. I thought it might get confusing if the screen was moving about here in my guide, so I disabled it. But I think this feature will really come in handy when you're building your own games. That is very good to know. Okay, let's put the screen back to how it was before. That was uh, right stick and ZL or ZR. Okay, all done. Now, back to the main topic. I wanted to tell you about how to make the person jump. If you remember, pressing B made the person jump when you were on the game screen. Yo, that was my doing. I'm connected to the button, see? Yeah, I can see the bridge between them. These lines here represent the connections. You linked them up a while back, right? I'm watching out for anyone pressing B, I got you covered. Anyone presses B, and I immediately send a signal to the person node on along the connection. Thanks for handling that. Think of the signal as a very simple message that passes along a wire. Now, let me tell you which part of me is connected to the button node on. You see what it says? Oh, sorry, you see where it says jump. Excuse me. When I get the signal in my jump port, that's my cue to make the person jump on the game screen. I hate it when I get a signal in my jump port. Simple, right? Because when, uh, Because we work together, the person jumps when you press B. Allow me to sum it up a bit. The button node on's job is to keep watch for B being pressed. Got it? And when B is pressed, the jump node on sends a signal from its output port. When that signal arrives at the person node on's jump port, the person node on makes the person jump. Simple. Easy peasy. Remove the connection between the node on and see what happens. Okay. So we can select the connection and then make it disappear with X. Oh, no, by clicking the X with uh, with A. Okay, let's go to the game screen and see what's changed. Oh no, it doesn't work. <laughs> Nothing, the person didn't jump. With the connection between the node on gone, pressing B no longer causes the person to jump. Go back to the program screen. Yeah, no connection, no jumping, that's how it works. That's right. If there's no connection, then the signal won't reach the person node on when B is pressed. So that's why the person didn't jump when you press B. Could you reconnect the button node onto the person node on, please? Your thing, Alice. Uh. Sure thing, Alice. Hang on. Oh yes, I, I use. <laughs> uh, B. There we go. It's a, it's a press and hold. Sorry. Ah, there it is. I'm getting the signal from the button, no button node on again. I was trying to tap B, but it's a, a press and hold. Connecting node on, node on together is the most important part of Game Builder Garage. In fact, I'd say it's the most fundam fundamental aspect of working with node on, so mark it well. Okay, let's check out check it out on the game screen. 
Oh yeah, I can jump. Over on the other side, the Nodon are to toiling away at, at making the program work. Once you understand how things work in the background, you really start to look at them differently, huh? That's what makes programming fun. I agree! Knowing how things work is really fascinating. Okay, let's go back to the program screen. Hey Dom, you remember us, don't you? You'll be seeing quite a lot of us if you're going to be building games. Yeah, push it to the max. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Nice! Did you, did you get the hand of the Game Builder Garage basics? Then, could you press B and close Alice's guide list? Sure thing, Alice. Now, I'm going to test your knowledge in the basics with a puzzle challenge. Okay. Alright, let's try the puzzle challenge. Oh, we can do this with our eyes closed. Making the person jump, easy! Alright, let's open up... Oh, not yet. Welcome to the puzzles. Here's where I'll be putting you through your paces with some puzzles to make sure you've grasped the basics of the Game Builder Garage. To clear this puzzle, you need to make the person collect an apple. How are you going to get it, I wonder? I have an idea. As things are, there's nothing you can do to make the person move. You'll need to make a change if you want to get that apple. In fact, you need to do some programming all by yourself. Okay, let's go to the program screen. Keep in mind, you can't just ever edit whatever you feel like in the puzzles. Your own, the only way you're permitted to solve this particular problem is by connecting the button node on to the person node on. Oh, don't tell us the solution! <laughs> so, how do you think you can help the person get the apple here? When you think you've made the necessary change, head over to the game screen to test it out. Okay. If that doesn't work, then head back to the program screen and try again. Okay, give it your best shot. Okay, I think it's gonna just be as simple as putting the button node on connection into the jump port on the person node on. Let's give it a go! Easy peasy! Did it. Nice. That's a lot like the assembly dojo in, in WarioWare DIY, if you ever played that, or if you watched any of the streams. All clear! What a nice screen! I love the, uh, the little sparkles. Awesome. Looks like you definitely have the basics of the Game Builder Garage down. From now on, I'll be testing how well you know Game Builder Garage and the node on. So between each lesson, I'll test you with some checkpoints. I'll also be adding things to my guide every now and then. That's Alice's guide to you. And if there's anything that's not clear, feel free to hit up Alice's guide. Now there's nothing holding you back. Get on to lesson one. Okay. Nice. So we finished Programming 101 and the Checkpoints intro. Next up is Tag Showdown. But we're going to visit that in part two. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.